Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. You're going to laugh at me because I just went through this whole episode with the audio and realized the mic was not even plugged in. So here we go. About to hit, hit it with y'all again. So this is the chevron tang we're learning about today super beautiful fish and super rare to get you do not see them that often and when you do they will definitely catch your eye prices on them you will spend a solid 250 dollars if you're lucky but even upwards of 300 dollars in most places they are very expensive tank size you need that 180 gallon Really, if you want to back it down even a little bit, I would say the 120. What you're really looking for is that six feet long in a tank because they need plenty of swimming room to run back and forth in. Care level, it can be moderate. He is a tank, so he will need a couple extra things we'll go over on taking care of him. Temper, he is semi-aggressive. He is like a tank. They tend to be the kings and queens of the tank whenever you put them in there. But this guy seems to be more of the peaceful one out of the tang so watch out if you do already have a tang in your tank and you put him in there he might be the one getting beat up reef compatible definitely he looks beautiful in a reef tank i would recommend him being in only a reef tank because that is his natural habitat that's where he hangs out in the wild and it's good to give him that feel going into a tank temperature you want to keep it 72 to 78 dkh 8 to 12 ph 8.1 to 8.4 and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025 keep all those levels in check and you should be fine taking care of him diet he is a herbivore this guy is a big time algae eater a lot of people like to call him the bristle tooth tang because his face looks a lot like that coal tang and he will clean up the algae for you big time but eventually your tank is going to run out of algae so you need to be feeding him plenty of sea veggies it's the best brand we use it's always working for them they love it but just make sure you're feeding him that because that's going to keep those colors looking very vibrant and very pretty and keep his fins real good and healthy and just keep them overall in good health max size is 11 inches even 12 inches somewhere online but if you want my opinion, you probably won't see one get over about six to eight inches. That's normally the size they get to in a tank. They just don't hit that max size like they do in the wild. Compatibility, just ask if you want my opinion on it. I would recommend him being the only tang in your tank. It's just because a lot of times you put other tangs in there and they tend to fight. And you don't want your $60 yellow tang to be fighting with your $300 chevron tang. And the yellow tang be coming out looking good. And your chevron be on the ground. So if it's my opinion, he's the only tang in there. But if you do just really, really want to put two tangs in there or more, make sure you add them in there at the same time. Because that will keep aggression down and they'll go in thinking it's already been like this. And they are they can be the king and the queen together. Colors on them is that real nice bright orange that everybody loves. It's really hard to find that. And he even has a little bit of a black maze going over him in different lines. It kind of reminds me of some lava looking at him. It will definitely catch some people's eyes. Now they can turn. They will turn as they get older. They turn this greenish brown color all over and their black lines on them get really defined. They still look really pretty. They almost look like a totally different fish though. Most of the time you don't have to worry about their orange changing. It normally takes about two to three years in a tank. I don't know why it's so slow in a tank, but it is because in the wild they can change from orange to that green color within a year. So you'll get to enjoy that real nice orange on them for a while. Origin, they do come from all the way from different places like the Christmas Islands. This is a little bitty island northwest of Australia. That is a big spot they catch them at. And then also in Hawaii, that's another big spot they catch them. That's probably also why they're so expensive is because they're so far away from us. Now this guy is very susceptible to bacteria. Whenever your tank gets low in the levels, I would make sure you keep your tank pristine. Keep your water changes up. I would also recommend you put a cleaner wrasse or cleaner shrimp, even both, in the tank in there with them. Because this will help keep parasites off of them whenever he comes in from shipment or future things that might happen you're gonna have to keep that water quality pristine keep your water changes up keep dosing your chemicals like you do 
because any little shift in the water and it starts going downhill, this guy's really susceptible to getting things like ick and velvet and other bacteria like that. So keep your water clean and you should have no problem taking care of this guy. That's it for the Chevron Tang. I just want to make sure y'all really know this is a good guy to get, but you do not want to mess up, especially on the price range and just because he's a very fragile fish. That's it for today. Hope y'all like and subscribe this video. I will put two up right now that y'all can click on and check out. For more fish you might want to put in your tank, make sure to check out my other episodes. And I will see y'all later.